Well, Moody's has knocked the banks down from AA3 to AA2, a minor ratings cut, and they're still on AA, which assumes that the government will support them if necessary. Moody said that while it doesn't anticipate a sharp housing downturn as a core scenario, the tail risk represented by increased household sector indebtedness becomes a material consideration in the context of the very high ratings assigned to Australian banks, which is ratings speak for they're a bit worried about house prices and debt. I'm not sure I see the point, to be honest. I mean, either the government will support them or not. Anyway, the bank's share prices fell today, along with shopping centre stocks like Westfield and Centre Group, presumably because of concerns about Amazon sending their tenants broke. And Compumedics shares popped 43% because the company won a contract to sell brain scanning equipment to the Barrow Neurological Institute in Phoenix, Arizona. The local market has gone nowhere this year. Tonight's closing level on the All Ordinaries is the same as January the 4th, and over the same period, the global share index is up 10%. Here's the reason for the difference. Australia's corporate earnings momentum is heading down, out of sync with the rest of the world. The graph shows the earnings revisions ratio for Australia and the world. Now, that refers to the ratio of upward forecast revisions by analysts to downward ones, which is also called earnings momentum. And while the Australian market fell 0.8% today, the rest of the world unanimously rose 0.8%, driving the home the point. On commodity markets, iron and copper up, oil and gold down, and the Australian dollar is steady again versus the US dollar, up a little bit versus the euro and the yen. And that's finance.